All right, you guys, it's time for some more Rocky Mountain backcountry. Check this out. I'm going to give you a full tour of the off-grid cabin right now. So uh, check this out. I don't think you guys are going to want to miss it. Let's go do a little off-road, off-grid, overland. Thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain backcountry. All right, you guys, here's the reveal of the backyard tiny cabin off-grid. Actually, let's walk around the outside really quick. So if you've watched any of the other off-grid builds, I uh, got a tarp for the roof. It's all strapped down. And check out this over here, you guys. I got, the, I got a window put in there. That's an old antique window that my wife had kicking around. She's probably going to do some wall art for the house out of that, but anyway, I think it looks better in the off-grid cabin. What do you guys think? How about that stove jack? I've had a fire going in here many times, and whew, look inside. There's a quick little peek. Maybe you can see, maybe you can't. Reflection. <laughs> anyway, I've had a fire going in this thing several times, and uh, that little stove jack does phenomenal works perfect keeps the snow out you can see that it snowed right um, and anyway doors all hinged up sides are all put together roofs all on tight so uh, hey guys come on inside with me and check this out I am elated is that more than excited I'm super stoked about this and uh, can't wait for the springtime to take it up on the mountain. Hopefully, that's the plan anyway. So, come on in, check this out. What do you think of that, you guys? Woo! So, check out this little stove, you guys. To make a long story short, I used to own a body shop and next to the body shop, was a recycling yard and I pulled this out of the recycling yard honestly it's been probably eight nine years it's been kicking around I knew it had a purpose <laughs> I'm one of those guys that hangs on to things my wife will uh, love to hear me say that in this video because um, I don't know we both kind of have a thing that we like to hang on to things but Anyway, turns out it's perfect for the off-grid cabin. Woo! You can see she's going right now. And uh, it, does a pretty, it does a pretty good job to keep it warm in here. So, look at this, you guys. <laughs> you tell what that is? That's an old welding blanket I had out in the storage pile. So, my plan is when I get this up on the mountain, I'm going to use some corrugated tin to... Uh, to line the walls there and to reflect some more of the heat out so anyway you saw the window from the outside and look at this you guys this is absolutely one of the favorite things that my wife ever put together for our family and uh there's a fox news alert <laughs> anyway man good memories right there and uh I'll tell you what, this whole thing's going to make some good memories, but that right there is part of the best, some of the best times of my whole life right there. Hmm, nothing better than family. Anyway, now let's go to the kitchen, you guys. Check this out. This is an old military rifle crate. This I got turned into my kitchen. I screwed it up to the wall, put some chains on there. Got this little do little doohickey here we can set up, do some cooking on. How about that? Of course, got the pans and pots up on the wall there. So this kitchen is set up just perfect so that I can stand here and cook. And uh, my backside's being warmed up by the fire. How about that? Anyway, you guys, I just can't tell you how excited I am. Check this out. Let's go to the bedroom next. All right, you guys, here's the bedroom. Woo, this is where the magic happens. Isn't that what they say? 
Well, all right. Probably not much magic happening here by myself. That'd be kind of weird. But anyway, check this out. Stole a couple of pillows off of the yard couch, out of the, off of the patio, and uh, check it out, man. Who doesn't dream about a log cabin with a black powder rifle standing at the ready? Got a couple of kerosene lanterns there going on. Looks like they need to be adjusted a little bit. You can see some smoke coming out of them. Oh, yeah, 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 just a little bit. We don't want that smoke. Oh, there. Look at that. Beautiful. So, uh, anyway, you guys watched me build the bed. And my plan is to put another bunk across the top there. Uh, right now, I'm not going to worry about it. When I move it on the mountain, if I ever do, um, that's going to be the time when I'll put another bunk up there. And check this out, you guys. Lion Energy Safari LT. Uh, yeah, I got the solar battery pack running some lights up here for me. And my plan is on the outside of the cabin over here on this side, this is going to be the south face. And the plan is to put some solar panels up on the outside there. So anyway, whoo! what do you guys think? Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about the, uh, about the old off-grid tiny cabin. All right, so now I'm going to get down to the nitty-gritty here and tell you guys what this thing cost me. So we had $20 for a wood permit. We had probably about 30 bucks in gas in the truck to go up on the mountain and get all the lumber. So yeah, go back and check this out, you guys. I saw milled all this lumber. And uh, I'm going to put a link right up here. You can go check out the, the uh, sawmill and the uh, wood getting video. So... And let's see, I spent 90 bucks sawmilling this. I got a good friend of mine who uh, who put up his sawmill for me. I paid him 90 bucks to mill these logs down. I think I ended up with, let's see, about 12 logs that he milled down for me. And uh, it worked out pretty good. Let's, the next thing we got here, I got about $22 worth of screws. Uh, I got some, uh, I got 20 of the uh, two by threes that you saw on the outside. You can see up here, that's what I used for my roof rafters and some of the corners. I uh, got 68 bucks into those. The roof was a heavy duty tarp, $38. The door hardware, the hinges, freebie. So that was one of the things that my wife had stashed and uh, she donated to the cause. Much love, babe. Thank you. Uh, the window, huh? That's another one. Freebie! Much love again to my wife for stashing that away for me. Chimney pipe, 20 bucks. Stove jack, I built it myself. Huh? There's the stove jack right there. You can go check that out in one of my other videos. $12. The door latch I picked up at Ace Hardware. It's a latch for a, uh, what is it? A storm door, a screen door. Anyway, works out great for what I'm doing. One day I'll put something more secure in there, but let's see. That was $13. And then I got some miscellaneous lumber involved. 80 bucks. So you guys, I don't know if you're totaling that up. I couldn't have totaled it up in my head, but you're not going to believe this. Everything else in here I had, it's just stuff that I've collected and hung on to. And, I mean, there's really nothing to it. Um, you guys, seriously, $393. So, what's my time worth? What's your time worth? You guys decide. But, I'll tell you what. I am absolutely stoked. I think if this video gets... 100 likes, I'm going to sleep in this on the next snowstorm. How's that? We can get 100 likes. That's easy. I'll sleep in here and uh, we'll do a video of it on the next snowstorm that we have coming into town. Anyway, you guys, thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry. Thank you so much for all of your support. And uh, I really appreciate all the likes, all the subscriptions. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. I love to get off-road. 
off grid and overland. So anyway, that's it for this uh, Rocky Mountain Backcountry, you guys. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. It's time for a ride, and I think I'm going to go do a snow camp. I've just about convinced myself to go and do a snow camp. So subscribe so you don't miss that. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I really am going to do it. I've been watching a bunch of those videos on YouTube, and I'm almost 100% convinced I'm going to do it. We'll see. Thanks, you guys. I'm out.